I don't know how they stop Scion. I don't think they can. They stun it once in the back row, but if you open attack, I don't think they can stop the Scion. I don't think they can stop the Scion. But they can get shot by and get excited. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Scion uh, deck that we played the very first day. We went 5-0 with it the first day and it felt really good. And then we played against it a whole lot and lost to it all the time. So I'm expecting this deck to do really well. Now, for as far as like what's changed in the format since then, which has been, you know, about two weeks ago now, has been there's been a lot of Lulu and Poppy decks everywhere and from what i've heard the lulu and poppy decks usually do pretty good against draven scion i as far as i know so i think that that could be a thing and so if that so since that's the case like if, if that's the case i want to put in gotchas in here so that's the one change i made to the deck i put in three gotcha to go along with the three get excited because we want to be able to do three damage to those champions lulu and poppy so it just gives us a little bit extra removal and so in order to fit in the gotchas, I took out one augmented experimenter. We had two, took out one survival skills. We had three and took out a jury rig. We had two. So that's, you know, kind of trim those. All these other cards are like three ofs. Oh, they were all pretty big parts of our deck. Um, more people are playing mini morph these days. So maybe Scion won't be as good because of that, but we shall see. Let's go ahead and just play some games. I think this deck's going to be pretty good. I have a good feeling about it with Draven at Scion, maybe because we're 5-0 with Draven today, <laughs> with the Draven Ezreal. All right, we're playing against Darkness. Hopefully, uh, Scion just going to be super big. Let's get rid of this. These are all cards that want us to discard. We don't have anything to discard right now, but we should probably find some things to discard. Most of our, you know, like, we have lots and lots of cards to discard, but this is just a good curve of one, two, three. And see, there we go. Lost Souls. How about that? See, good curve. And we have just drawn all things that want to be discarded, so good thing we kept those one, two, three. All right, that kills the two one, but that's how it is. Give me your valley's creatures of doom. I was hoping, like, I, I'm glad they hit the Fallen Rider. I was also hoping they would hit, like, the Lost Soul, right? Like, these things that we want to discard anyway. I was hoping those were going to be the cards they hit. So while I could play the 4-3 Challenger, that doesn't seem as useful. I'm going to double spell with Great Position and Risen Rider. All right, so this has been going pretty well for them. But even after all of this, they've taken 7 damage, I still have a 2-2 in play, and I still have an additional card in hand than what they do. But that's the thing, is I can't kill a Vega right now. I don't know. We got Revenant. Revenant dies to darkness. Our deck's all about just putting pressure out on them. Yeah, they want to keep that 
kill my revenant. Surprisingly enough, we actually haven't seen a champion yet, even with all the cards we've drawn. We're about 35% of the way through the deck. Cool. I was thinking that could be a possibility of a card they had, that's why I didn't play the Darren Poros. Of get excited cost three mana, not five. I could see them wanting to play the lifesteal card, like the six mana lifesteal card. I kind of feel like that's what they want to do. Just don't really need to, um, don't really need to shoot that thing with the gotcha. 74. The Scion is so easy to level up. We, we're we already over double level up. Drain 5. That uh, heals the Nexus for 5. That matches up pretty well against the Warmonger. Drain 5. So 6 to an enemy, slow speed. Still slow speed. Yeah, you don't even have to think about trying to level Scion. He's just, it's so easy to level. Because he's always at 35 before you even play the Scion. Like, and the Scion would even help even if it's less. It's, it's kind of impossible to not have a leveled up Scion. Okay. The important thing is, second Vagar is dead. The Vagar dealing damage to my Nexus is what I'm worried about. As you can see, we have infinite cards. Like, we will outgrind them. It's like, this, this Scion's like 90, like, whenever we play it, it's like 93 out of <laughs> 35. Do they have mini morph? No, more Vagar. We gotta kill Vagar before they start targeting my Nexus. Gotcha, already putting in some pretty good work.
straight in. I have the best job. This has become of Noxus. Yep. Definitely need that card. Which I guess I could have spitting axed and discarded the survival skills for that. Alright. Cool, we'll do it now. I'm discarding everything anyway to just draw three with this experimenter. I'm on the verge of something. And as long as no Vagar, we good. We've already killed two Vagars and a Rekindler with a Vagar. All right, get rid of all their blockers. They do not have the ability to fast speed that card anymore. And let's go ahead and attack. Send them in. Hopefully no Withering Wheel. There we go, that'll do. Taking down the darkness. Draven Scion 1 and 0. Alright, Twist of Fate Swain. I think we should be pretty good in this matchup, considering we'll never run out of cards. So I, that sounds like that would be good for us. Send these two back. Look for other stuff to discard. Yeah, I think the, got, the gotcha was definitely good. We needed that to kill that, that uh, Vagar. So it came in clutch. Overwhelm Urchin. Oh, never mind. This gives a plus two, plus zero. Um, I actually like all these cards. We could discard the Gotcha, I guess. The Urchin? Because of Make It Rain, I'm not playing the second Urchin. At least not yet. This is obviously Make It Rain. Okay. <laughs> Where are all the guards to discard? All the different units to discard. There's one. play the physician because you know we draw a unit and the units are the things that, are, that I want to draw right now because most of the units besides those like a lot of the units are the one things that we want to discard 
like that. And that. Yeah, I think Caitlyn Teemo is a good deck. I mean, we just went one and four with our five game sample size. We had a lot of things go right for our opponents. And, you know, just that kind of stuff happens. It's a small sample of games. Even good decks will lose games as well. Down to 11. We've kind of gone through all of our card advantage. You know, like we've gone through so much of the card advantage stuff. Unfortunately, had to discard. You know, have some card advantage stuff, discard other card advantage stuff. Four seven? Why seven? This is the ground they die on. Gotcha plus get excited only does six. I think that's seven. That can be a tough card to beat. I don't know how they stop Scion. I don't think they can. They stun it once in the back row, but if you open attack, I don't think they can stop the Scion. I don't think they can stop the Scion. But they can get shot by and get excited. So that's going to be a 2 and 0 for Draven Scion. There is no excess when victory is at stake. And good games. All right, here's one of the most popular decks right now, Fizz Poppy, and people are saying that Poppy is the reason why Draven Scion isn't played as much. So let's see how we do against a Poppy deck. I'm gonna get rid of one Fallen Rider. We'll keep the others. So we have three, you know, those three, besides the three Get Excited, we have those three Gotchas, and that's, you know, four Poppy for these kind of matchups. We'll see if we end up able to draw, you know, if we were able to draw a gotcha or not. That's not bad. Let me see. So gotcha and get excited. It'd be good to have. From all the regions we are one. <laughs> nope. Haven't found one of those yet. Round four in this card's basically leveled up. Like, 
We should definitely make that a lot higher than 35. Yeah, Brash Bandit. Yep. Uh, I saw, yeah, you had a donation deck for a Caitlyn deck. Late last night. I, I did get that. All right, team. Adventure time. The party has arrived. So this gives me uh, survival skills and whirling death. Survival skills does not help that, so no no whirling death. You suck. There's just not really any reason not to trade stuff. Things are going to trade anyway. So it's basically all about the six mana card, right? If I play the Scion, they could have a stun. Otherwise, I can go Revenant plus Draven. And just kind of keep playing on, you know, like a decent game. But we can do that next round. I think it's... Oh, wait. It's round six. <laughs> I can't play Scion. Okay, and I can't even go Revenant plus Draven. I was thinking I had, I thought I was thinking it was round seven. All right, round six instead. All right, let's go. I guess we'll go Grave Physician and probably Revenant. I guess we can see if we want to play Draven instead. Draven would be able to give the four one Overwhelm if we discard Scion. Six mana. How many mini morphs are these decks playing? Fearsome. How about that? That's the game. Like if they don't, if they if they have mini morph, this is you know anybody's game. If they don't have mini morph, it's probably over, unless there's some other answer. No, no real reason to scion block. But I guess I, I guess there's no real reason not to scion block either. Because if it dies, then we just rally. If they have removal for it. The party has arrived. Ugh, I hate parties. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Let's do this. Just kill me. So, so far today, every Scion that we have played has been mini-morphed. So, this is anybody's game. Like I said, they needed that card. Oh, 
I don't know how close they are to like the Bandle tree. That is certainly like the, the thing to be scared of right now is the Bandle tree. Should have played that first, but whole bunch of house fighters and owl cats we'll play some good defense. Now I should have saved this for Poppy. More mini morphs or nah? You best believe I don't play. All right, I guess so. So they have to block. Because otherwise it's lethal. Oh, that was so close to me clicking the wrong one. Six. There we go. Risen Rider Fearsome. So far, every single Scion has gotten immediately mini-morphed, and our opponents are still winless. 3-0 for Draven Zion. Viego. Ooh, Viego could definitely represent uh, trouble for us. Yeah, Viego could be tough. Like, Viego plus Hydrovine, if they, if they just end up getting a whole bunch of encroaching mists and all that kind of stuff that could be tough but this is a weird viego list with hecarim and zed as well a little bit of a different viego list all right so we already got our our round one round two Sion's already leveled up. Basically. Without a sound. Without a sound. Uh, get excited that? Get excited is really bad against twin disciplines. Really the main thing is I just don't have anything that I really necessarily want to discard. We could discard the Poro Cannon. But we don't want to discard it. Now we're cooking. Darkness. I not ideal, but you know. Life's not ideal. Alright, so attack out. 3, 2 blocks. 4, 3, 2, 2 blocks. 2, 1. Do 8. Oh, okay. They only do six, but they're keeping my four three alive into a four one. Could be setting up a withering whale, that would be rude. Alright, eight. What? They just have shark cherry in the deck? Oh, 
All right, that's they do. We're just hard casting shark chariots over here. So withering will puts them to eleven, then down to seven. Nine mana's ruination. I can't win through both. Yeah, like I so I could have played around the withering whale by discarding the grenadier, you know, by playing get excited first, but they could also just play blocker and then withering whale during combat. Lost soul, that card's good. Hecarim's honestly really scary. We've attacked with two so far. It's going to put in the two Spectral Riders and... Man, this card's honestly really scary. I know these Get Excited's like almost kill them, but that's the thing it almost does, doesn't... Two Spectral Riders and the Shark. I just block. We're doing... Taking nine. Hmm... That's kind of left me with no gas anymore. Okay. Experimenter for next round, I suppose. Submission or death for all who leave. Just gonna do this before I play Daring Poro and they play some other kind of blocker. Warmonger is not that bad just to play right now. Do I really need to draw three? My opponent keeps on having like <laughs> kind of what they need. Both of those ephemeral things were perfect and the withering whale was perfect and I just couldn't quite kill them. So hopefully they can't save Viego again. I'll be able to do three to Viego with the experimenter challenge with the revenant. Well that's a wonderful Hard to have if you're only gonna have two. I'm on the verge of something. Hmm, I wonder. So at least twin disciplines doesn't save. Okay. Now there's still the Hydravine. But that's a start. Stay away from that switch. We're down to five. Shark Chariot's done nine damage to me now. It's a good open attack by them. So 
I'm not stopping atrocity. It feels like atrocity, doesn't it? For how they're like sitting here and thinking and then passing priority, it does feel like atrocity. And they got atrocity, the game is over. We're not stopping atrocity. Okay, well now we can kind of stop atrocity a little bit. Just a little bit. Man, I have to discard that other warmonger now. You hoping they'll die of boredom? Or just let Draven die. And just keep warmonger. Yeah, it's a bad attack with the Draven. My plan was spinning axe. Discard the survival skills. That was my plan. We know that last card's a spell. We don't know what the spell is, but we know that last card's a spell. Really hope it's not second atrocity. Because if it is second atrocity... If it is second atrocity, they just top decked a great card with that 5 5. Okay, it was not second atrocity, good. So it's going to be on. get that thing but then that dies wait do they get the blocker with that oh I guess they do get the blocker because okay well that's too bad all right so this is going to grant strongest ally plus two plus zero which is going to be the warmonger or right, no actually this thing I think it's seven We still haven't seen a single Scion yet. We're at 13. 13 cards left in our deck. Three of them are Scions. So that'll be two. Put in a six. So then these both die as six. Yep. And the six does come across. Remember when we had him back to, when we had him down to seven a long time ago? Okay. So yeah, they don't have anything dead right now. of Lifesteal Barrier, putting it at the end. That'll do. Man, what a close game. All three of our Scions were down in the bottom 11 cards. Crazy. Still ended up getting there. And we're 4-0. and oh. 
All right, back to Fizz Poppy again. We did defeat this a little bit ago, but again, people say that these Bandle Tree decks are good against Draven Sion. So we shall see if that is truly the case. We're going to send back the Porto Cannon. Where are our units to discard? Things to discard. There we go. There's one right there. Okay, Draven will give us more, more discard fuel with the spinning axes. Their deck goes wider than my deck, so I don't think that I just be I, I shouldn't be the one that attacks and offers trades. Because they're going to run out of room before I run out of room. This requires my largest official hat. It's Draven time. And while I could kill that, I think I won't. Or will I? Axes coming right up. And they only have two more spawns. I say these removal spells for Pompey. Poppy. Shoot that thing. I should have played Twin Blade Revenant. Okay. Draven out. Time for the main event. So if I if I trade with the three four, then with my four three, then I do have the ability to discard this this thing again and get an additional four three back. That's probably the way to go. We got a lot of removal over there. Where are you, Draven? I've had a very good hand against Poppy, but yep, not a good hand against the Bandle Tree. But a good hand against Poppy, except for Scion. I've been saying Draven, sorry. Scion, where are you, Scion? They were just a Bandle Tree control deck. 
Lots of removal. No, not exactly so sure about that one. That removal spell, that is. It's not possible for me to do 20 before the Bamble Tree kills me. Alright, so 4 and 1. I could see playing... So I have the gotchas in here. I could definitely see trading those out for some Aftershocks, actually. Now, especially playing this, or, you know, at least going 1 or 2 Aftershocks. Maybe, like, 2 gotcha, 2 Aftershock. Get rid of the Jury Rig also and just play 2 and 2. I could see doing that, because, yeah, we have to... Because this Bamble Tree... This is the card that's going to kill us, isn't it? Especially how everybody's playing that card these days. Like all these decks are. That's how they that's how they're winning the mirror and everything like that where everybody just plays units and then you win with the Vandal Tree. Maybe it's just 3 aftershocks. Maybe that's just the thing to do. Cuz then the aftershocks go up to your nexus also. And so they help finish the game out. Or how you, how you we're an aggressive deck. All right, there we go. Let's let's play aftershock instead of gotcha. And then if if the jury if we don't need this jury rig, which we probably don't, then the jury rig can turn into another gotcha, and maybe that's just the thing to do is take out this jury rig. So basically, I think this this one of jury rigs probably an open slot for something else. If you feel like playing something else, it could be you know lots of different things. Boom ba boon be a boom boon that card's good yeah the tree rig could be a boom boon but there we go um i think that's that's probably maybe one change to make because i think that that's how we're losing to the bandle tree decks um that's that's this the landmark they're playing we got to be able to destroy that landmark so there we go that'll give us some more options but then again if we're wanting to save aftershock for the landmark then we will have less stuff for poppy and for like these lulu poppies so yeah let's let's play the gotcha let's do that Okay, so there we go. There's the updated deck list, but still awesome. So first loss with Draven Scion, nine and one now with the deck. Is you know couldn't expect to go at ten and zero with the deck, but I guess we'll we'll take a nine and one. Puppy, you want to come say bye? All right, but so those y'all watching later on YouTube, try this try this list out. I I do still think this list is really good. Like this ancient. Um, Ancient Warmonger is a card that I don't see anybody else playing with their Draven Scion decks, yet it is so good for us. The 5-5 Overwhelm really helps win a lot of these games. So definitely try definitely try that card out. Just try out this list. Let me know how it goes for you. Let me know how you like the Aftershocks, if you think Gotcha would be better than Aftershock or not. Um, but there are, you know, like those, that landmark, that Bandle Tree landmark is kind of all over the place, and you really do have to kill it. So I think Aftershock would be the way to go. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Draven Scion. So leave those comments, hit that like button, all that kind of stuff. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and Puppy and I will see you for the next video.